episode number 42 of the Planting Pirates. This is where we're gonna uh, go around our yard and show you where we planted all the free plants we got on our Plant Pirates episode number 42. If you check that out, I'll put a link below. Um, but we got all the plants that we're about to show you for free. So, and I made a list of where I planted everything so I don't forget, because uh, I noticed I forgot one or two plants on the last uh, tour. So let's start with what's up front, eh? Yeah. Let's see, I got, first we got over here your yucca. Oh, yes. Yeah, actually, it looked really good. If you guys remember um, from the Plant Pirates video, when we got this yucca, it had some kind of like blight or disease all over it. But uh, you can see Annalisa trimmed it real good here. And uh, this one too. And this is one you can just stick right in the ground from cutting. So there was no roots on this or anything. We just. And as these get bigger, these trunks get like kind of like bulbous kind of like a um, baobab type of a tree. Yeah, or what's or the like other one? Or like a ponytail one? palm. Yeah, ponytail palm, Where it's yeah. kind of like a, a weird shaped trunk, which um, I think is really cool. Yeah, oh, I like them a lot. Yeah. So. I mean, we don't have a lot of them, so. Mm -hmm. they're we, really and they're great, you can grow them in pots too. Yeah. And they, they'll, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's a great plant. And you Super can cool. trim it and keep it any size. You know, Ooh. I've seen old ones that are like this big, and then. Yeah. Super cool. So we yeah. and it, that, not that this is a rare one for us to find, but uh, these were two nice cuttings after we cut all the uh, kind of gunk off of them. So. Yeah, because they're they're look. I mean, it's almost as tall as I am. Yeah. And the ones that you buy in like the big box stores and the in the planting centers, they're like what, like this tall? Yeah, probably twenty bucks or something. Yeah. Rose, come on, sweetie. <whistles> all right. So then we also got um, a crinum lily over here. Put it right over here. Now you stay. Mm -mm -mm. So this is another one that uh, Annalisa had to trim. It just didn't look great when we got it. But it'll bounce right back. This is a giant crinum lily. This is like the purple version. There's also a, a giant green crinum lily. I think this one has the white flowers. Do you remember which one? We have both varieties of them. Yeah, I think the green one has it's the purple, purple flowers, flowers and, and the, this one has the white flowers. Yeah. And then the littler version of the green one has white flowers, a smaller white flower Yeah. Um, that we see growing around here. I've only seen three kinds. Yeah, yeah, here, you mean, uh -huh. yeah. So let's see, I think that's it. I think the only other thing we had up here for this week was this, uh, nothing in here. I think it was this one cutting of the, um, I keep calling it bridal's bouquet, but it's, uh, what's the term? Uh, no, we were calling it wedding bouquet, but we it is bridal. It yeah, it is bouquet, bridal, bridal's, bridal's bouquet. bouquet. So you can see we have a, we have a pretty tall one that's established here that we planted from cuttings last year. And it's taller than this brick wall now. It's probably seven feet. And so I put the cutting we got this week down here at the base of this one, because this one's kind of uh, bare at the base. Uh -huh. um, and it might fill out this year, I don't know, but I, I put that one down there to kind of help it bulk up some. So. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. All right, then we got some, uh, let's see, over here on this side of the yard, I know we got one ginger and some snake plant. We got that real sorry ginger that we think is a, um, I think it's a spiral ginger, right? Yeah, this is one that seems to work. Let's see, where did I put that? spiral ginger here it is right here so it's real sorry looking pretty much looks dead but it did have the roots on it and you can see there's still a little green up here so we'll give it a try we kind of just throw plants in here on the side of this uh hedge our rika hedge just extra plants we have and if they live they live we can move them somewhere else and yeah you can see we got some cool plants over here this one needs to be moved that's a specimen yeah right that there. one's beautiful it's so spiky though yeah. And then here's the snake plant we got. Uh, you can see I probably need to help it a little bit. It's top heavy and I didn't plant it very deep here and you can see it kind of fell over in the wind. So I probably mm -hmm. need to redo that. Um, this lily we got a few weeks ago like died overnight. It got all these yeah. brown leaves on it overnight right after we planted it, but it's kind of kept its green for several weeks. So I think it might. Yeah. Oh, take. I think that's going to take. Yeah. yeah. That's another one we got on Plant Pirates, like she said, maybe three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. don't have this. This was a totally yeah. new one. Um, I'm thinking it's a lily of some kind. So too. All right, let's go. I got, I know where some more stuff is. Come on, Rose. 
we got that stuff and then we got oh look at this who's this what do you want kid you know what he wants guys food yes no you know what he really wants he wants to have a, a sleepover, sleepover with his friends tonight which we might do i don't know come on rose all right so we got some more plants down here so is that what you come out here to bug me about your sleepover maybe mm -hmm. all right so down here let's see i think everything else i put on the side over here because this this side of our yard we haven't done a lot with and um it just needs some help it needs some more plants and uh-huh and so. you just recently mulched it out right? yeah so. so i know we got right over here oh there's a little songbird in there we don't get a lot of songbirds it's, here we have that uh cardinal net. that wasn't oh it was a cardinal i bet yeah. yep it's not Oh, there she is, right there. You can see her in the nest. Right in there. I don't want... Oh, there we go. Well, let's, let's... We'll leave her alone. She was going to leave anyway. Yeah. All right, so right over here, if you guys remember, we got a whole bunch of bromeliads. And I put a couple of them right here. We had this tea plant planted here already. But I put these bromeliads in here. And that um, yellowish-white plumeria right here. And then I kind of mulched this little area. We're, we're starting to put some plants in along this brick wall here. I like the brick wall, but I want plants every so often. Yeah, and um, some stuff, it seems like the, the radiation's too much for it, but some the ra stuff oh, the radiant from heat. the brick. Yeah, the yeah, heat, yeah, the heat the radiating radiant off. Heat from the it's brick. not radiation, guys. I, I promise we don't have a <laughs> nuclear power plant here. No, I'm just joking. All right, so, so um, but some plants seem to do... They, they just do awesome, especially the yeah, Hawaiian tea, tea plant. plant. Yeah, this is one we just planted from cuttings. We got on another plant pirates wow. episode. I mean, that is by far like what? the fastest growing. And look, it's got leaves. Looking. It's got leaves all the way down too. A lot of times they get bare once they start getting big, and then you have to cut them down. And you know, I mean, this one's just like it does look beautiful. Is this a different kind? I don't know. We got all this stuff as cuttings on the side of the road. Look though. at that. All right, then we got a couple more plants over here, guys. We got um, we got this. Uh, what was it called? Lil Lilla rope. What was it called? Lee rope. Lirio. Lily, Lily rope. I, I, Lirio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and this is the one that had those tuberous roots. Uh, if you remember um, from the plant pirates episode, they they almost look like little potatoes on the roots. Yes. Um, and uh, apparently, in some, I think it was either the Japanese or the Chinese, they cook them and candy them and use them, I guess when they candy them, they use them as a dessert, but they think they cook them and use them for medicinal purposes, the, the roots of that plant, so. Crazy. It looks yeah. like it looked top. edible. It did look edible it. to me, yes. And I know this one gets little berries and the berries are not edible, but they're not um, super poisonous. They're just, I, I do think they'll give you a stomach ache. It's not something you want to eat, yeah. so. It might the, be. That looks like the top of this borderline. Yeah, oh yeah, it does, kind of, yes. Like the same colors. Yeah, the Dracaena here. All right, and then we got a couple more of these bromeliads here. These are just more of those bromeliads. We got a huge clump of them, but we actually um, separated a couple off and just didn't keep them because they just kind of didn't look great. Yeah, we got so many of them. Yeah. We kind of picked and choose, chose the best ones because yeah. we want. We really are trying to go for um, the maximum variety of plants we can get here so yeah we don't want to put too much of too many things all right cool well i think that's it i think i got everything on my list here it looks like rose might have wandered off so we're gonna have to go find her Hi. i guess but uh anyways y'all if you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we showed you here today just post down below if you enjoyed our video maybe uh consider subscribing to our channel if they don't what's gonna happen bud an angry army of kids will come and steal the candy oh no and then they'll ask to have a sleepover at your house that means you're gonna have to stay up late and make sure nobody gets in trouble and all that kind of stuff but anyway so you know if you don't want that to happen maybe consider subscribing to our channel Till next time everybody out there take care Bye.